Today on Sledhead 24-7, the latest news from Polaris as Mac and Fish redefine the way we ride. Meet a devoted Articat rider whose lifelong appreciation helped him earn the reputation as a super fan. Ross Martin is off to a fast start on the Amsoil Championship Snowcross Series. Ross reveals what it takes to get him and his Polaris to the top of the podium. Those stories and a trip to Speedworks as Sledhead 24-7 starts now. We brought a little bit of something for everyone. It'll be crazy, stupid, fast. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Sledded 24-7. I'm your host, Misha Johnson, here with our team of experts, Paul Mack and Jeff Fisher. Because when I fall off, which I inevitably always do, you can look out for me, right? You wouldn't chase well, down the... Like I say, I need a target. I need something to aim for. Bright, shiny colors coming. Looks like a slot machine for you. It's bright, <laughs> shiny colors. You're just attracted to it. That's Levitate right. to it. Just go. I'm not quite sure what they're doing back there, but right now we're at Danner's Motorsports in Invergrove Heights. And coming up first, we're going to check in with Polaris and see what's new. For 2012, Polaris has raised the bar considerably in the snowmobile industry. They've not only created new sleds, but created new categories that have changed how we ride. Since shaking the snowmobile world with a radical pro-ride suspension on the rush, Polaris hasn't stopped improving their snowmobiles. By using what they've learned on the racetrack, Polaris made refinements to their consumer sleds. Well, when we were building these race sleds, racing these sleds, we pound the heck out of them. If you took a consumer sled, put it out there, we'd break that in no time. So these are really unbelievably well-built sleds, but then that translates into putting these parts into consumer sleds. For example, the front end on Ross Martin's mod sled is the exact same front end as on the Rush sleds. This year, Polaris made refinements to the handling package of the Rush. They've made so many nice changes to that sled. From last year's sled to this year's sled, totally night and day. They've got a new front end on it, new A-arms, spindle. They remounted the rear suspension front torque arm, and it's a completely different snowmobile. So they did two things that I, I didn't like in the past. Ski lift on cornering. And it didn't feel real confident in stutter bumps. They took care of both those problems. The thing is fantastic. Polaris created a monster with their new crossover, the Switchback. Boy, that thing is sweet. 136 inch, now remember, this is like a rush in a 136 inch. It's, it's a seven inch longer tunnel with a rush rear end, rush front end, so now we got the great rush handling characteristics. Remember to change the front end on it, change the front torque arm, now it lays flat, it corners flat. That's exactly what the switchback did. This was more than just adding longer slide rails. Polaris lengthened the entire pro ride rear suspension to 136 inches the longer track, what they did, they didn't just like put a longer set of rails. Basically they added seven inches in the center part of the sled, just stretched everything out a little bit. To look at it, you almost can't tell, but to ride it, you can feel it. From the race proven front suspension to the all new seat, the switchback is the perfect crossover machine. Polaris did more than improve their lineup. They created a new category for snowmobilers with the all new Polaris Switchback Adventure. Now Polaris, they're always doing innovative things. Look at the Rush. Well, now they took the Rush, they made a new Switchback, which is a longer track. Well, they took it a step further. They made an adventure. They made put, put a nice luggage system, nice wind protection. It's a very, very nice package, a real good all around. I mean, it's a trail, trail performance sled, a back boondocker sled, in a touring sled. So when you're gonna pack up your stuff, throw your, throw your socks and a change of clothes and a toothbrush and your razor, and you're just gonna disappear for a few days and just go do your own thing. You wanna go out and ride destination ride, go off trail, go on trail, that's exactly what Flaris did in the adventure. With a switchback adventure, you can truly do it all. It's where performance meets luxury, 
and the sled begs you to put on more miles. From one of the best mountain sleds in the world to the all-new category of adventure snowmobiles, Polaris has nowhere to go but up. New sleds, new accessories, new possibilities. Polaris has produced and refined some of the best snowmobiles ever. Well, there you have it, all the latest and greatest coming out of Polaris. And now, Paul, I know you've rode all the new 2012s. Can you give us a little mini review? Yes, I have. You know, as, as we say every year, they can't make them better. Boy, am I wrong. The technology, the improvements is staggering. This year, they refined the rush to the point that as good as it was, and I think it was, if not the best sled, one of the best sleds out there, it's even better now. They have the new adventure. If you want to go on a three-day adventure, put all your stuff on there, no pun intended, head out. It does everything you could want it to do. It, it's fantastic snowmobile. Claris snowmobiles are astounding with what they've done for 2012. I believe it, and I'm definitely going to believe this guy. Well, all right, you guys, stay right where you are. We've got more sledded 24-7 action coming your way. When Sledhead 24-7 returns, we'll visit the home of a rider whose love of Articat goes way beyond a passion for the sport. And how is Ross Martin and his Polaris team planning to earn another big win on the Amsoil Championship Snowcross Series? We'll have the details. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics, by Polaris, terrain domination by Woody's the most trusted name in traction and control and by Speedworks home of straight-up USA horsepower 